Hello everyone, it's Dragon Platinum here, and today we are back with another build battle. Now it's been a good while since we last did a non-PvP build battle with it just being about the builds, about creativity, and just making something look cool, and uh, that's what this build battle is all about. So today, because it is spooky month, I decided that maybe it would be a good idea if we had a theme for this, so going along with that spooky theme, I decided that today's battle should be jack-o'-lanterns. Now, I, I don't know how hard this is going to be, because building circles in playing crazy, at least for me, not an easy task. I honestly haven't even tried to attempt it, so I'm excited to see what everybody brings to this. I'm also excited to see all the different kinds of faces that people will put on their jack-o'-lanterns, because like that's something totally customizable that people can do totally different from each other. I mean, pumpkins, they can look pretty similar, but uh, the faces you put on them can always look totally different. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get a look at our competitors and uh, see how this build battle turns out. Okay, so first up we have Cello646, MLG Piggies, Just Wrens, Ada7, Aoi Watoni, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Night Chaser1, Daniel17852, Luigi underscore Loha, and Verse underscore Flamingo. So I think we've got quite a few new people here. Uh, Just Wrens actually showed up, so um, that's gonna be pretty cool, but I'm excited to see what everybody decides to go with. I was kind of hoping for more 3D pumpkins, but I'm not against people building 2D stuff, so I think we're going to see a lot of different styles and different shapes, and uh, that's got me pretty excited for this one to uh, get into the later stages, because right now we're just seeing a lot of framing and uh, getting things set up. Alright, let's just get a quick look and see what we've got kind of going on here. we got many, like, lots of people are starting out with the base right now and just getting, like, the general shape done. So, that's going to be probably the hardest part. Um, we do have some people throwing on some faces. <laughs> I like that, that looks nice. Um, and then, yeah, we're also seeing some uh, more 2D ones, which is kind of cool. I don't know what uh, Renz is doing, but he's up to something. And uh, it's just looking like a lot of just getting things set up to actually start to get the pumpkin done. And then I think faces and all that stuff are probably going to be like the last step, but um, they don't have to worry about making the pumpkins move or battle or anything like that. It's just supposed to be like an art piece, and uh, yeah, it's been a little while since we've done with those, so I'm excited to see what everybody pulls out for this. And uh, also, um, it's going to be a learning experience for me because I don't know how to build circles, so I'll be also learning as I am critiquing, I guess. Yeah, it's been a little while since I had done some more of these, like, actual building competitions, and so that's why I've been kind of thinking throughout the month of October I could do some more scary-themed, well, not scary, but, like, some more Halloween-themed kind of stuff, and uh, I was thinking maybe, like, I could do a ghost build battle after this one, or, like, zombie, witch, all that kind of stuff. I, I don't really know if I'm gonna go with that idea, but if you guys want to see some more Halloween themed stuff since it is kinda the scary month and uh, Halloween is right around the corner, then I, I'm, I'm totally down to do that. It'll be less PvP and more just about general building and uh, just having a good time, making some cool stuff. I honestly, seeing all these different pumpkin shapes and stuff, I might have to build one myself uh, for a video, I think. Cause like, I got a lot of ideas going here I think just like getting the shape down because I, I don't know exactly, I it would take me a while to get the whole rounded shape down, but you know I'm getting ideas for myself here and I'm also just trying to think of ways that people could improve their builds and it, it's really cool. These build ones like for just like straight up building, no PvP and things, I learn a lot from just people's different building styles and um, I get to see like a lot of different cool things and see where people take their builds. Like we got people making mechs it seems, and uh, other people making scenes for their pumpkins to like sit in, so I don't know. It's pretty interesting. Alright, so we're starting to near the 30 minute mark, and uh, honestly I'm kind of impressed where everybody has gotten so far. We're actually seeing like a lot of pretty finished pumpkins, and uh, that's impressive because pumpkins are hard shape to kind of nail down. But we're also seeing people take it more creatively and uh, actually going in incorporating it into like builds or mechs or I think a ship maybe? And whatever this is, I, I still think this is a blimp but I have no idea. But uh, like people are taking it different ways 
And uh, that's the most exciting part for me because I don't know what to expect. So, yeah, should be fun. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please, 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 Luigi, keep that face. Please keep, if you keep that face, that is going to be one beautiful looking pumpkin boy. If he does not keep that face, I'm going to be very sad. Please keep that face. Oh boy. We got a pumpkin out on the town now. Man, it just looks so strange. It's like he's got a gigantic head. Pumpkin man, are you okay? He's just tip-tapping his way over. He's got no arms. Alright, here we go. Seeing some more pumpkin shapes. I'm liking what I'm seeing. There, the pumpkin jack-lantern boat is starting to come together. And, uh... We still got the mech being worked on. The cart... I, I swear, if this is not a blimp, I will eat my shoe. I am almost sure that is a blimp. Or a sub. It could be a sub, but I think it's a blimp. I'm pretty sure it's a blimp. I don't want to eat my shoe, so actually I take that back. It, it could be a blimp. Alright, so I thought I would get the, uh, the car kind of themed up for this competition because I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. And, uh, stuff is looking pretty cool. We got, like, around 20 minutes left, and things are starting to come to a close. But uh, we're seeing a lot of different things here. Like, I was not expecting to see so many different... Ver is, is that a gun? Does that pumpkin have a gun? That pumpkin has a gun. Okay, well, uh, like I was saying, lots of different things. Lots of different things. Even some gun pumpkins, so... <laughs> oh my god, it shoots bullets. <laughs> I really need to ask, why do all of the pumpkin mechs and stuff have guns? I don't know why. I really, I really feel like I need to know why, but now we have two pumpkins with guns. And I, I'm being shot by a pumpkin with a gun. <laughs> why? Why is- why? <laughs> no, don't point that at me. Oh, hey, here we go. The, uh, ship is starting to get its jack-o'-lantern on. I'm liking the face for it. It actually looks pretty creepy once, uh, you get a different angle on it. Cause like, from here... It looks like it's got, like, pupils, so that's pretty cool, actually. I'm excited to see what comes of uh, the rest of this. Pumpkin with gun just is something that is too cursed for this holy land. Be nice to Billy. Billy looks like he could commit multiple war crimes and get away with it. I'm just gonna... Speaking real talk here, I don't see many pumpkins with guns that haven't committed war crimes. Oh god, Billy, what happened? See, I told you he committed multiple war crimes, that wasn't wrong. Alright, so we got about, like, two minutes left here. Um, people are just finishing up with, like, painting, and maybe adding on, like, a few finishing touches. But, uh, they're pretty much done. And, uh, things are looking pretty good so far. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Alright, let's start off with Cello's build here. He built the Jack-O-Lantern ship. This one was really creative. I liked the idea going into this, and, uh, I think he executed it pretty well. It looks really cool. I think the one thing I would maybe change is the uh, the coloring of the ship. Or, well, he was going for a ghost ship, so I think the green works. But maybe, like, kind of like a purple might have looked nice as well. But uh, this one's pretty cool. Maybe just adding some lights into the eyes or into the mouth might have made it pop a little bit more since I am viewing this stuff at night. But I like how he did kind of like the ripped sail design. That was very clever. And I, I think this overall, this build is really solid. And, uh,. I like it, and it incorporated the jack-o'-lantern theme really well. Alright, next up we have Night Chaser, and his scary-looking pumpkin carriage. Uh, this thing is really, really cool looking. I like the overall, like, design and everything for this, and it lights up, and the front lights up as well. That is a good-looking pumpkin design. I, I like this one. This is probably, so far from what we saw, my favorite, because, oh, wheels turn everything, everything functions normally. That is a smart way to put your pumpkin. I think the face is scary, and uh, overall works really well together, so this one's going to get some high marks. All right, next we're going for MLG Piggies and uh, Billy, the murderous pumpkin with a gun. Overall, I think this build is really cool looking. I like the pistol that it shoots rockets at the front, which is nice, although very unexpected for a pumpkin build. Um, from what I've seen, I know that the lights do light up in his... Yep, there they are. Billy just becomes even more cursed. Um, but overall, I think the pumpkin shape is really cool. I like what he did with like the stem and all the coloring. The coloring is very nice. And uh, yeah, 
This is a good looking build. All right, next up we have Just Renz and uh, his scenery kind of build here. He's got a pumpkin hanging from a tree. I like the, the effects of like the smoke and stuff. That's really clever. Um, yeah, it's just a totally built dead tree. We got, I'm dead, cool. I did not know I was dead, but apparently I am. Uh, we got two gravestones. He really should have put his name on this one, but uh, you know, it is what it is. It looks like we got some skeletal remains here, and the like the little sound effects that he added were really clever. Although, okay, uh, apparently when, when it screams, the pumpkin spins. Yeah, this one's really cool. I like what he did with the whole scenery. Um, I do kind of wish there was more emphasis put on the pumpkin, and maybe if the scenery had gotten a little bit bigger, there could be more gravestones. But uh, this one, for an hour, very impressive. All right, next up we have Ada7 and his jack-o'-lantern, what looks like house actually. Oh, this looks pretty cool from the inside, it's very lit up. We got a TV in here too. Oh, sick. This one is not as big as some of the other builds, but um, overall it's like a really, really solid looking build. I like the fact that you can climb in through the mouth and the fact that the uh, eyes are like the windows was really clever. I think this one is really solid. I do wish it was a little bit less blocky. But uh, overall, I like this one. I think it was uh, a, a very clever way to take the pumpkin and turn it into a house. Next up is Ao with Tony and his pumpkin mech with a gun. Because why not? Everything needs a gun. Um, it's got multiple faces. Okay, it, has, it can do multiple different emotions. And uh, overall, I think that the mech for the, like, the, the base of it looks really nice. I kind of wish more detail might have got put into the pumpkin with, uh, like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to critique you. Um, maybe like some more detail with like the coloring of the pumpkin could have been done, but uh, overall really solid. I am nothing to complain about with the mech body because that is really nice and it looks like it just snapped its neck. I don't really know what happened there. All right, next up we have Daniel. Um, I'm going to need him to explain to me what this is. I think it's a blimp. It could be a rocket. It's a rocket. It's a rocket. Okay, I didn't know it was. A, I thought it was. I thought it was a blimp. I don't know why I thought it was a blimp, but it's a rocket. I'm dumb. All right, let's get in. So this thing is a really, really fast rocket. Um, I, I kind of would have liked if maybe like lights had been put on the front uh, for like the eyes and stuff. Although it would have been really, really super glitchy once we would have taken off because like the light effects would have freaked out. But um, it was a smart way to take the pumpkin. Um, overall, I think it looks a little bit like simplistic on the paint. But uh, honestly, I think it's pretty cool and it's even got a landing feature too. All right, next up we have Luigi Loja with his smiley boy pumpkin. I love like the face on this guy. It is so adorable. Um, overall, it's, it's, it's a little bit blocky, but this like, I, I can't, like the face is beautiful. The face is absolutely amazing. Um, I don't know if it actually moves around a whole lot. Can I actually get in? All right, so it can fly around and stuff. I think that the face is probably just the best part of this build. It is my favorite. It's so simple and so adorable. So uh, that is gonna get some bonus points from me. But uh, the flying kind of leaves something to be desired. He's a little, he kind of trips over himself. But uh, yeah, overall, this pumpkin's pretty solid and the face is just beautiful. All right, next up we have Super Rayan123. He was a late joiner. Oh my God, I just got abducted by the ghost ship. Um, he was a late joiner to the competition with only like 20 minutes left. So <laughs> I'm not gonna critique his builds as harshly, but uh, it looks like we got like a, a rocket sort of pumpkin as well as some pixel art which is pretty cute actually. But uh, overall, this build, he didn't have a lot of time, but I think he did a pretty good job with the time that he had, which was not a lot. All right, so here we go. Here are our three winners. So in first place, we had Night Chaser with his Jacko cart. Uh, in second place was Renz with his spooky scene. And in third place was Cello with the Jacko ship, or the ghost ship, I guess. But uh, overall, this was actually kind of a difficult one to come up with the winners because I don't, I, there was like a lot of different designs and a lot of cool ideas, and I was a big fan of a lot of them. Um, there was some cool faces, there was just some cool builds in general, and I think everybody did a really good job. Well, there we go, guys. Um, we had a pretty solid build battle. I haven't done an actual like building build battle in a while, and uh, it's been mostly PvP, so I was happy to do one of these actual building ones uh, again. And to do it for Spooky Month with the whole jack-o'-lantern theme I thought was pretty cool. So I might have to do another spooky-themed build battle. I I'm thinking ghosts for next time, maybe? 
or something? I don't know. If you guys have got any ideas for like a, a spooky themed building competition, let me know. But anyways guys, that's really all I've got for this video. So hey, if you guys like this video, feel free to give a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always guys, it's Dragon Platinum, signing out. Peace out guys. Bye.